if it's your first time here my name is Joan and I normally make crochet tutorials and I hope you're keeping safe wherever you are please remember to sanitize your hands and uh, make it your priority to protect yourself and your loved ones and uh, I hope this corona situation thing is going to end quite soon because it's quite sad anyway so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make a face mask at the comfort of your home i know so many people are grounded and this could be like a perfect project for you to try out so it's a crochet one and um yes let's just dive straight into the video so for the material i'm using this amazing yarn from ice yarns um it's 67 percent cotton 33 percent polyamide in color white and i'll be using four millimeter crochet hook okay so let's get started so to begin we're going to make a foundation chain stitches uh that cuts across like from one side of your face to the other in my case, I'll be chaining 31 stitches as my foundation chain stitches. But this will depend with the type of yarn you are using. So your yarn thickness and the hook size you're using will determine the number of stitches that you're going to chain. But you can actually use a tape measure to guide you on the stitching of the foundation chain stitches. So I have my 31 chain stitches. Okay, you can actually choose to do your stitches inside the loops like this. But for me, I prefer going through the back loop to create like a nice foundation chain so what we are going to do next is we are going to single crochet in the next five stitches one two three Sorry, I made my foundation chain stitches a bit tight. If you're planning to work through the back uh, to still make your foundation chain stitches, kindly do not tighten your stitches. So this is what I'm talking about. When you work through the back loop, it's going to give you like a nice foundation on both sides. So once you're done with the five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five. So remember I made like 31 chain stitches of which the extra one isn't counted. So technically we have like 30 chain stitches here. So the first five we're going to do single crochet and then we're going to do 10 half double crochet inside here and then towards your end we're going to do five single crochet so i'm already done with the five single crochets so the next thing i'm going to do is work 20 half double crochet if you don't know how to half double crochet you just yarn over insert through your hook sorry insert through your loop pull over yarn over and insert through 
the three loops together so just work your 20 half double crochet and then i'll meet you towards this other side i have worked on my 20 half double crochet and then towards the end we are left with five stitches of which we're going to work single crochet on the last five stitches so when you're working through the back loop as part of your foundation stitch it's kind of hectic a bit but the trick is to make loose foundation chain stitches it's going to make your work easier so i'm done with row one for row, row two we are going to chain one turn your work around the chain one is already a stitch so i'm not going to single crochet over here but i'm going to single crochet on to the next one so technically we have two stitches which the chain stitch is a stitch which is one two three four five so once you're done with your five single crochet we are going to repeat 20 half double crochet this time around we're not going through the back loop that was just a technique to help you achieve a nice foundation base So this pattern is quite simple sorry it's quite simple we're just going to repeat it over and over again until you get like your desired height i'm done with my 20 half double crochet so we are left with the five single crochet as you go towards your other side And then when you reach your end we're going to repeat the same process again it's just chaining one and then single crocheting five times sorry that's one two three four five and then we're going to work 20 half double crochet And then once you're done with your 20 half double crochet you're going to work five single crochet and that's it so repeat the process until you get your the size that you prefer and then i'll meet you when we reach to that point okay so so far this is what we have i have made 12 rows of this and the good thing with this pattern is automatically just takes the shape of your face the sunken effect so the next thing we're going to do is to make the strings that you're going to attach to your ear so I'm going to make 20 chain stitches and then you're going to attach it onto this other side with a single crochet and then you're going to single crochet on this row up to this other point and then you're going to chain the same number of stitches you did on this other side you do it to this other side and then you come you attach it towards this side and then you single crochet as well and then you finish it off towards this end we're gonna keep it low key keep it softly spoken with no strings tying you to me
chain 20 and attach it to your other side and then just single crochet in each and every stitch going towards the other end and that's it so on to the last step <clears throat> remember we are trying to keep ourselves safe so and i wouldn't recommend to use the crochet mask alone so we need a filter on top of it uh, this could be a fabric that is perforated in this case i'm using chiffon it's quite lightweight and it's perforated like it's something breathable so we are going to attach this onto our face mask but it's going to be something uh, detachable something that you can actually remove and wash it yes on a daily basis or after use so to do that we're going to create like two chain stitches uh, like chain stitches on this side and on this other side to help us secure the filter fabric so that's actually easy to do that just attach the yarn onto one side of your face mask so i love a so so this is how i attach mine so after attaching it that way, I'm going to chain 10. And then just attach it onto this other side using a slip stitch. And then chain one and cut your excess yarn so this is what we have it's going to secure your filter that's going to be underneath so repeat this onto this other side so at this point I'm just fixing my filter underneath so the the reason why i'm not fixing this permanently it's because it's removable it's supposed to be something removable something you can actually wash and replace with a, a new one so i forgot to mention you're supposed to weave in your ends using a needle and that's it